morning everybody good day whatever time in the it is in the world or wherever you're watching uh welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh today uh we're gonna do a special transport and um it's uh casper to gillette and it's a 187,000 pound haul truck chassis and um yeah, was, what, I got the uh, Viper here, more correctly, the hater-built version of it, which has this cool front bumper and uh, for heavy haul and uh, a few different options than the Viper, but they're close. This skin is the very first skin I ever put up on Steam, so untouched. This is just the way I put it up, and uh, you know I can look around it and see things that are wrong, like you know, the stripe across the back and all kinds of stuff here and there. But I'm not going to change it because that's just uh, an indication of where I was. And that's my very first skin. So anyway, let's uh, get on with it. We've got a uh, heavy haul here, or special transport. So that's kind of cool with the uh, paddock cars and everything. And uh, that's the reason we're starting out here with, with no trailer on. Is um, uh, we want to uh, catch the whole thing. The uh, entrance and the uh, the cutscenes and everything. So we got the truck configured as a eight by eight, and you'll see when uh, we uh, select the load and it checks the chassis how we're doing. It'll be. Uh, all-wheel drive chassis this is my version of uh, you know both the hater belt and the viper i've got them uh, sort of hopped up a bit like in terms of making them all-wheel drive and stuff so let's uh, have a look here it'll, it'll give us the goods let's so select this load we'll say yeah it should give us that yeah here we are here so i changed it to uh 411 gears got my big motor in there and uh we've got uh axle count four powered axles four so you can see i've modified that and you can get my version of the viper on my uh discord i'll try and remember to uh oh we're gonna be doing it in the dark oh well could be kind of cool so um Yes, this should be actually a lot of fun. This is a wide one. And we're almost set to go. Should get the signal here any second. Oh yeah, here we are here once again. The instructions, so just to reiterate, I've said this before, but the rear pilot car blocks the lane you want to move into then the front pilot car moves over once that's happened you move over and I kind of call I call it riding in the cradle so these guys are the cradle and you're the cargo in it and uh, yeah pretty straightforward so we're good to go and looks like we're heading out that way uh, parking brakes are all off beacons on Hundred and eighty seven thousand three hundred and ninety two pounds. Been a while since I held the uh, default game low boy, the triple. Now you're going to see, hopefully, uh, now you don't uh, stop for stop signs or anything, you just roll through them, you don't stop for traffic lights, you just roll.
I don't think he's going to give me a ticket for not signaling. <laughs> See if I put a transmission with a retarder on it. Then we get our uh, 40 mile an hour cruise thing working right. There's 40. Put her on cruise. Oh, that's not going to last long. See, he's just going to go right through here. So are we. I had the range selector down so it wouldn't split, my bad. Nothing wrong with the truck. Oh, that speed limit sign. Oh yeah, there he goes, he's down to 30. He went quite a distance. At, uh Before slowing down. Now, I hope one day they fix this problem. We're gonna, we won't have it right here. But I'll wait till he turns. Then I'm gonna get out here because he complains when you get out of your lane. But you got such a big load on, you got it. I'll show you the load here. Like it's big. But he gets pretty alley when you get out of the lane. So. Yeah, you see on the dashboard, there's a little green light to the left of the center steering wheel spoke. And you're hearing it beeping, or I'm hearing it. And that's telling me that the retarder is uh, controlling the truck speed on diesel. It's holding us at 40 instead of letting us run away. And then this is that thing I was telling you about with uh, select a transmission with the retarder. Set your cruise control tolerance to zero, and uh, it'll do this for you when you're in heavy haul, which is really handy, or a special transport. Will be coming up on us. I can hear him. Let's get over here a little bit. So, uh, one more sleep to Texas. 
and uh, I don't know how quickly I'll get the first video. Maybe uh, I can do a quick one and get it out for uh, Wednesday or Tuesday evening, but we'll see. So we'll uh, we'll play it all by ear. Going to the big. Uh, oh, here we got a truck trying to pass us. Should be able to. Let's see why he can't. He's probably got enough room, but I don't want to go too far inside and start picking off signs. Yeah, he's got room there. There he goes. We're going to turn off up here anyway. Oh, he's got a triple on. Or is that a double? Turnpike double? No, just a, just a double. Normally this many, uh, yeah, so when there's traffic uh, in front of you, you don't get to do the run all over the road thing. Like if we, we would have had to wait at that light if uh, there was somebody in our lane. Take a little dive at anybody coming towards or towards us to slow them down, like sort of do a head-on challenge. It's kind of funny. Very aggressive. Sometimes these are urgent, and uh, it's a little different, but uh, for the most part, it's never a problem getting there on time. 
I think your biggest challenge is, is uh, like, you know, when you, okay, watch this, watch him go at this car or truck. <laughs> it's, I, I find it really humorous when it's a cop car coming the other way and this cop gets in the face of the other cop. It's just like, guys, come on. Can't we get along? But, um, yeah, your biggest challenge with these loads, and in particular the longer ones, the long trailer is, you know, just, well, I don't know if you've been watching, you know, if you're a real life trucker, you know what to do, but if you're new to the game or whatever else, and this trucking thing, it's all about trailer management. You're driving the back wheels on the trailer, which means to get them to go where they need to go to keep the load or the trailer off of anything on the inside of the corner, you've got to go wide on your turn. And with this um, uh, style trailer, this triple low boy configuration, uh, well, the stinger at the back, so the front's called a Jeep and the back is the stinger, and the middle part is your trailer, where the load is the load carrying body of the trailer. And uh, you got to get all of that around the corner. So you got to be mindful of that. It's kind of what adds to the, for me anyway, to, uh, the enjoyment of the game is uh, managing the bigger loads. It's kind of fun. I guess if you've seen a bunch of my videos that... <laughs> Uh, Nitro Mods Trail King TK360 is quite the beast. And yes, it's a real trailer. You can get real videos of it on YouTube. And uh, it's way cooler in real life. It's, uh, it does some neat stuff. Anyway, uh, we're we 30 miles. Uh, got that skin up on Steam finally for the 350. 9 FLX with 5 Pell Creek uh, Ranch trailer skins and or light boxes included. So that's cool. And just a reminder, you can use that even if you don't have the truck to skin those trailers for yourself. So this guy didn't as much space here but let's see what we do here should be real oh yeah we're fine yeah i think we're going to the uh the big uh, mine site here or uh facility outside of gillette but, uh, yeah, you can use the skin, just subscribe to the skin anyway, throw it in your mod folder, and you'll have those five trailer skins. And I don't know what today is, uh, being Sunday, I don't know what's going to play out like, but if I have a chance, I might do, uh, I might do another skin for the, uh, Vister, uh, 389 EXHD that we had in the last video. I'm thinking I might want to do a Flatbed Brothers or maybe uh, a Black Swan. Something to do with Texas. One of my Texas skins anyway. So this is a pretty narrow bridge here so it's hard to see those hubs. So we're, that hub is actually pretty close. Can't see it in the dark. I think they'd have flags on them. So I started this video. We're at uh, 899 subscriptions. <laughs> oh man, just one away. Yeah, here's a big mine off on the left there with the open pit outside of Gillette. Then yeah, we're going to turn to the right here. 
It's pretty cool during the daytime seeing what's all out there. Lots of room on the inside of this corner. That's well designed. Yeah, we're coming. He gets all alley because he thinks you're... Oh, he's going to pull off and leave it to us. We're on our own. Man, that's a lot of lights going on here. These uh, photos at night, they never really work. Try one more. Whoops, didn't want that, I wanted that. They, they always look terrible. We'll, uh, I used that earlier, one when we were under street lamps. I believe I'm going the right way. That'd be about it. What am I missing here? Oh, wait. Oh, that's bizarre. Oh, I just have to move it over a little bit. Shouldn't have to go too far. Oh, that is just weird. Oh, oh, I had it. Oh, it's the trailer I got to put in there. It's not looking for the truck. <laughs> My bad. I thought I uh, had an outline for the truck too. All right. Already turn the lights off, the beacons. That's everybody else's are still going. I'll see what we did here. Pretty good. Awesome. Oh, wow, see, that was a lot better and a lot shorter trip than hauling those hogs the other day. <laughs> Made some money doing it too. Good. And he used half as much fuel. Made you know, half again as much money. Awesome. So there we have it. The uh, the uh, hater built. Uh... Oh, hang on a sec. Let's do this real quick. Yeah, the uh, the good old hater shaker. That's the first time I put this skin on it. I've always just run it on the Viper before. But I'll try and remember to put links to my Discord and stuff, and you can jump in there and grab this. Uh, the Viper off there, and of course this skin is up on Steam, I'll put a link to it. And um, uh, as always guys, just appreciate the heck out of you, and uh, we'll keep on keeping on. You guys take care out there, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. And bye for now. Mm -hmm.